Hey everybody, Palumbo here. It has been a while since I posted a video, and the reason for that is because I have been working on a complete course uh, from beginning to end on Google Apps Script. And you can imagine, that's a lot of content, given the fact that Google Apps Script interacts with so many different Google services. Sheets, Google Documents, Google Slides, Google Mail, Google Drive. Uh, it's been a bit of a large undertaking, although I have to admit, it's been a lot of fun and even I've been learning quite a bit about Google Apps Script. But in preparing for this course, um, it got me thinking about the Hello World program. If you're not familiar with Hello World, anytime you're learning a new programming language, it's become customary that the first script you write simply prints out the string Hello World. And this is to allow new users to become familiar with the syntax of that new language. And there's even a Wikipedia page about the Hello World program. Which got me thinking, there are so many ways that you can do Hello World with Google Apps Script. And in this video, I'm going to show you three ways that you can do it, specifically with Google Sheets. And that's only because when I'm working with people that are trying to learn Apps Script, they tend to want to learn it to interact with Google Sheets. But the principles are still the same if you're using Documents, Mail, Drive, etc. So to get started, Let's go ahead and open up a new Google Sheet. So I'm just going to type sheets.new. I'm going to call this one Hello World. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Extensions and I'm going to click on App Script to open up my App Script Editor. And I'm going to call this new project Hello World. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is technically outside the scope of writing a Hello World script, but I'm going to do it simply for demonstration purposes, which is I'm going to add some custom UI elements or a custom menu item to the sheet only because I want to be able to trigger the scripts while I'm looking at the spreadsheet. So um, welcome to follow along, but this is technically not part of the Hello World script. So I'm going to do a function on open. And I'm going to do a spreadsheet, get UI, and then I'm going to do a create menu, and I'm just going to call the menu my functions. And I need to add an item to that. So let's do a add item. And the first one I'm just going to call hello world. And I am going to connect that to a function that I'm going to write here in just a moment, also called hello world, but in camel case. And then I'm going to put add to UI. So let's go ahead and let's just save this and we're going to run it. Now, because this is the first time that we're running any script, it may take a little bit longer than usual. And there we go. Execution completed. Let's go look at our spreadsheet. We now have a custom menu item called my functions. And underneath it is a option for Hello World. Now, right now, Hello World isn't connected to anything, but let's go ahead and create that new function. So we're going to do a function called Hello World. And the first thing I like to do anytime I write any type of app script, specifically with Google Sheets, is I like to create a couple of variables, which just makes it a little bit easier for me to interact with the spreadsheet itself. And since these are typically don't change, I do them as constants. So I'm going to do a constant SS for spreadsheet. And I'm going to do spreadsheet, get active spreadsheet. I'm going to do another constant called sheet. And I'm going to do SS, which is already referencing the spreadsheet itself. Get active sheet. And by doing that, that prevents me from constantly having to write spreadsheet, get active spreadsheet, and then get active sheet. So now all I need to do anytime I want to reference the actual sheet is just type in sheet. So now that we have those variables created, the first thing I want to do is I simply just want to write hello world into a single cell. And I'm going to go ahead and do it in cell A1. So we need to make that our target. So I'm going to create another variable. And this one might change. So I'm going to say let target equal sheet, because that is the variable that I created, which is directly pointed to that particular sheet. Uh, and I'm going to do a get range. 
And I'm going to use what's called the A1 notation. The A1 notation is simply the letter number coordinate of the cell that I am targeting. So in this case, I am putting A1, and that correlates with cell A1 here. Now that I've done that, all I need to do is to put the text inside of A1. So I can do that by simply saying target dot set value. And something that a lot of uh, causes a lot of bugs and I try to be very cognizant of is the difference between set value versus say set values. Um, App Script is very clear uh, or, or ask you to be very clear if you're doing a single value or multiple values. So make sure we're doing set value and we are gonna do hello world exclamation mark. All right, so we are gonna save this and we can go into our hello world spreadsheet now. We go to my functions and we're gonna click on hello world. Because this is the first script that I'm running that is actually going to change this document, it is asking me to give it permission, uh, which is a wonderful security feature uh, of uh, Google Workspaces. So I went ahead and did that. I'm probably gonna to need to run it again, so let's run it again. And now I have hello world in the cell that I specified. So that is, probably the easiest way of doing a hello world script inside of Google App Sheets um, within the context of working with uh, with Google App Script within the context of working with Google Sheets. However, there's more ways to do it. So let's look at another way. So we're gonna do one called hello world alert. And I like this one because it just demonstrates all of the different uh, ways that you can interact with a Google service. Um, so in this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. First of all, I am going to just copy these variables from down here. So we have those available to us. Um, now I'm gonna do something a little different. So I'm gonna use browser.messagebox. And in here, I'm gonna put in hello world, exclamation mark. And I also need to add this to my menu up here. So I'm gonna do an add item and I'm gonna call this one hello world alert. And the name of the function is hello world alert. All right, so let's save this and I'm gonna run my on open again. So it adds the new element there. So now we have hello world and hello world alert. If I click hello world alert, I actually get a pop-up window that says hello world. And this is one of the features that you have available to you with App Script. whether it's you're asking for input from the user, if there's an alert because data validation was off, you have the opportunity to actually put your own custom text inside of these pop-up windows. So I went ahead and just did hello world in a alert uh, message box. Now we're gonna do one more way of doing hello world. And this is gonna be function hello world large. And this is gonna show you how you can interact with a lot of different components of a spreadsheet all within a single script. So I am gonna grab these once again just because I am going to need them in this script. So we'll go ahead and grab those. And what I am gonna do is I am going to write hello world inside of the spreadsheet, but I'm gonna do it by actually highlighting cells inside the spreadsheet to spell out hello world. And the way I'm gonna do that is, um, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is, if you notice the cells as they are right now are very rectangular, I'd like them to be a little bit more like a square. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to shrink the column widths. Um, so I'm gonna do sheet uh, dot uh, set column widths. So plural, because I'm doing more than one column. And it's asking me for what's the first column, what's the last column, and then what is the width in pixels. So I'm gonna do, well, start at column one, we'll go to column 26. The standard or default width for a column in Google Sheets is 120 pixels. So let's just cut that in half, we'll go with 60. So this is going to shrink all of my columns, make them a little bit more like squares. 
Now we need to grab all of the different ranges that are going to spell out hello world. Now a range is anything from one cell to a whole group of cells. Um, and they may or may not be contiguous. Contiguous meaning that they're all in one group. Um, so if I do a selection like this, that's a whole group of cells that are all together, all touching one another. But it is possible to need to do something like arrange that sort of broken up like this, that's non-contiguous. So in this case, we're gonna spell out hello world. It's going to be a non-contiguous range selection. And there's a, obviously a lot of different ways that you can do this. I am going to use a method that I would find to be probably the easiest rather than actually going and doing a bunch of separate range definitions. I'm going to use a range list. So uh, let's do a let, uh, let's just call it hello, equal sheet get range list. This allows me to put in a bunch of ranges all over the spreadsheet. And rather than put you through uh, the <laughs> torture of having me to type all of this in, I'm just gonna paste this in. So let me grab this from my notes. And we'll jump in here. Let's go ahead and do all this. So these are a bunch of range selections. And notice I'm still using that A1 notation. I'm still using the letter number combination. But what I'm doing is rather than just using, uh, in my first example, A1, as you can see here, I'm using C5 colon C21 to designate uh, multiple cells all within a range. So this is my range list. Um, it is the ranges separated by a colon, I'm sorry, separated by a comma inside of brackets. And so this will give me a whole selection of ranges. And now what I need to do is we need to do something with those cells, change the color, put some text in, etc. I'm gonna go ahead and actually change the color to them. And I'm gonna do that with hello, set background, and let's just make them black. And we'll end that there. And the last thing I need to do before I can trigger that is let's add this. So let's call this hello world large connected to our function, hello world large. All right, so let's save this. I'm gonna run my on open script just so this new element gets added here, which it has, and let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. And there we go. So with that script, I cut the width of the columns in half to make them a little bit more uh, manageable, and then went through all of my ranges. Uh, and of course, the code will be posted below. Uh, so you can actually see all of the ranges that I used. But as you can see, I was actually able to go in with a single script and even sort of a single range list and make a change to a large portion of very specific cells inside of my Google Sheet. So we spell out hello world. So once again, this is just a very simple example of the flexibility that you have uh, in working with Google Apps Script. Um, if you found this useful, obviously would be very happy for you to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm gonna be pushing more of these videos out. And of course, be on the lookout uh, for my complete uh, Google Apps Script tutorial, which will cover how to interact with not only Google Sheets, but Docs, Mail, Drive, Slides, etc. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic day.